I genuinely had no idea some place like this existed. And it's like, you know, you got your stuff from your 50s. All the way back into antiquity, you probably find some Egyptian stuff here. I wasn't expecting to find this in Bangkok. Red Building Vintage Mall. Wow, some of the stuff in here from antiques to, well, vintage clothing and whatever this is and some other stuff. You won't believe it. Well, anyway, come and have a look with us. It's amazing. Interesting old looking stuff here. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, ET phone home. <laughs> He's got a banana. Anyway, there's loads of interesting stuff here. That looks a bit like Chucky. Vintage. This is the famous red building and you can see it actually is red. I mean apart from the green obviously. That must be the metro. But it does say vintage on it. So it's all vintage foods and things. No, no I'm kidding. Of course I am. Check out all this stuff. Oh man. I don't even know what half the... What would you do with half this stuff? <laughs> I'm just looking at this stuff and it looks like there's a whole building dedicated to it inside there. But yeah, I'd love to see the pub that does their shopping here. Oh, and it's lining outside, but we feel compelled to go inside. Because it's air conditioned. <laughs> That's it. Prepare to be steamed up, guys. I don't know if it's going to be a restaurant or if they're just selling furniture. That is pretty epic. I and mean, look at this place and look it's a long way down there and there are floors I see more than two escalators Louis Vuitton yeah uh huh Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Some of these things make you feel a bit old if they're being in a vintage shop. <laughs> I remember how to use a telephone like that. <laughs> Something's actually locked away. Got your little pots and things. And then the scary things. Little dolls. You know, they come alive at night. Fact. Rambler bicycle. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Yeah, the map. But look, someone's got a top hat. Genuine cane. If you went to boarding school, you know what that is. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I say, my good man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's quite interesting because they're not Asian. And they're kind of creepy. They are. I think the Greyhounds. That was a big antique shop. Some great sunglasses. Yeah. And vintage looking watches. I'm finding the problem here in Bangkok is that we were on the street and they were selling fake watches. Are these real? They're selling fake sunglasses. Are these real? I like to believe so, but you just can't tell. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you overpay, then that's right. Look at this place. Let me just turn around. Oh, that's a pub. <laughs> wow. Is that a peacock? It is a peacock. I'm just not sure what's behind it. It's a mink. Look, there's another one. Oh, that's actually like a head. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, guys, I think that's a genuine mink. <laughs> uh huh. Look at that. Oh, wow. Here we are, 30 Ramage Pot. You just go in there and find yourself some stuff. 
Luckily we lost Ricky somewhere. No, she's standing right here rummaging. <laughs> yeah, Ricky is a bit of a fan of jewelry. And she doesn't have much, but the bits she has, she really has dug out of places like this. <laughs> Some gorgeous pieces. Well, if you rummage deep enough, you'll find some real pearl earrings. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is so much fun, guys. Brian can go off and go get some food or whatever. I'll just stay here rummaging through little trinkets and treasures. You never know what you're going to find. Oh. She must be someone like an anime character or something. Yeah. I don't know where it is. I think it was like John <laughs> Oliver or something. It was into these frogs. Really? It's just weird, you know? Yeah, you could rummage around for hours, days, and not yeah, have seen possibly. everything here. I genuinely had no idea some place like this existed. And it's like, you know, you got your stuff from your 50s all the way back into antiquity you probably find some Egyptian stuff here. I got some dolls here but these are just too life-like. I don't know if you guys can see that it's oh wow man you give this to children so the horrors of having children of their own just scare it out of them but it gets worse. Oh god they have a whole family. <gasps> Oof. You know those ones come alive at night. <laughs> And weirdly, you're suddenly in an area where you can get a massage. Yeah. <laughs> Ancient art of massage. Ancient art of massage. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this place is super cool. This is the jade zone. I'm just going to show you a piece of real jade, guys. Look at that. You can't see how shiny it is. Yeah, there we are. It's only 15 million baht. Back away slowly from the jade. Come out of the shop. Come slowly out of the shop. The shopkeeper's laughing. I told you we'd find the Egyptian stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'm now on a mission to find more frogs. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, and there's one doing a pea shooter. Yeah. Guitars? Or is it katanas? <laughs> Samurai swords. <gasps> Man, uh, quite a collection. And these are amulets. Really well presented ones. On the walk over here from the, the MRT BTS, uh, we, we bumped into an emulet on the street store thing. Uh, let me just go show you because it's more explanatory that way. The guys are all selling amulets today. And we saw them from the top of the station, but actually getting quite a close look up on these things. How much? How much? Amulet. How much? Wow. How much are they? 100. 100? Huh? No. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool. 200. Yes, yes. Okay, not for me. Thank you. <laughs> so they have tons of them along the road and they have even more. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. And rings and things. And money. I think that's all money. Oh. Man, some of this stuff is so interesting. Might have to get one of these for our backpack. I think it would be appropriate. Yeah. Yeah, some really interesting ones, guys. <laughs> wow, some of those. Man, like maybe an ancient elephant one. Oh, wow. Look at that. We're actually on our way to a vintage market, but it seems like the street has more vintage stuff. How much has that market got if this place has got all these books and... Maybe they're not vintage, maybe they're just books. But so many of these amulets. Oh, 
Ireland, the best amulet of all. Johnny Walker double black. A lot of these amulets that we see around here actually have a meaning like bring you luck or bring you money or improve your sex life. Quite a few of those ones. But you can actually get them blessed. So we're going to have to find one where you can get like good luck as a keychain. A street tailor, he's actually fixing clothes right here. Someone's beautiful black pants on are being repaired. On an actual table. Have you ever, have you ever actually seen something like that in your life? What is quite amazing is that all along this whole street, and you also got belt buckles and things as well. Ray-Ban, Okay, wow. Yeah, no, I saw some here. They look pretty cool. Yeah, in the original boxes. What makes this cool is people actually check them with the eyepieces. They bring out their little eyepieces and they actually look to make sure that it's yeah. a proper, they genuine piece. Yeah, I mean, like, look at this. It's probably a, a, a walrus tooth or something. They are everywhere. Oh, and they've got the old money. Huh? Yeah. All along the street. And you gotta look at them because one will speak to you. And when it does, that's the one you gotta get. That's your lucky charm. For how appropriate a fishing rod, because there's apparently a river right here. See, I wasn't kidding. And look, there's a big fish there already. Or well, it might be an otter. Yeah, just a big otter. No, no, it's a leg of one. Uh, uh, monitor lizard. lizard. Water monitor lizard. It's actually more like a second-hand market. Yeah, yeah. And these are the amulets, but you got some beautiful watches down there. Something's talking to Ricky, but it's Pearl, <laughs> so not, not what we wanted. <laughs> Ancient calculator. Man, this is like a second-hand market. Is this the market we were coming to, Rick? Yeah. Can we get a Valentine's? Just one. It actually says 4.5 liters. That's, oh. Yeah. That's how I want to buy my whiskey from now on. That's all you carry on. <laughs> yeah. Old TV cabinets. I mean, some of the stuff that's here is just like Ray Bans, you yeah? know? Uh huh. This market just continues. It looks like you can put a, I don't know, stamp something. Yeah, they even have those here in Bangkok. Wow, this is really, you could spend hours just looking around here. Talking about things that live in the river. <laughs> Crook it out. That looks like a warthog. Oh, there are loads of things. Bones, dinosaur bones. Oh. Hey, man, Yeah, yeah, they call the guy over and I just take your photos. <laughs> it's amazing. I never thought you'd see stuff like this. No, absolutely insane. And it carries on. It's like this yeah. whole area is just full of these amulets and trinkets and, and old things. Oh, amulet scratch patch. So much a basket and you fill it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get some prices on these guys. Three, four hundred of those ones. Oh. Wow, those streets were absolutely amazing and so many things to see. But let's get back into the mall. Wow, I think we've stumbled into the chandelier section. Louis XIV area. Oh, Ricky's found the jewelry section again. And check out some of these pearls. It's beautiful. These ones have got prices and everything, so you can see. Okay, so yeah, like 1,400 to 2,500. Yeah. Gorgeous. If you love chandeliers. Anyway, onwards.
Oh wow, why would they put those things so delicately on like that? <laughs> and then you get something like this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, some of these things are cute. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I think that there was an artist somewhere that said, you know what? We need like black leather, gold trimmed, warthog and baby. And some hippos. Oh, clothing. Oh man, Amelia Earhart shirts. We're just standing here at the top of the escalator store because like, if you thought you could spend hours in the other sections. Yeah, this is probably where you're going to spend your time. Also, it goes really far down there. The cool thing with Central stuff is you can get really big sizes generally. <laughs> yeah, people were big back in the day, before skinny became the fashion. <laughs> Uh, oh wow, yeah, lady of the night. <laughs> you get like fancy shoes and things as well. Proper designer things. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it's real. Oh wow, it might be. Jewelry. Oh, it's got elephants on. Oh, military type gear and stuff. Wow. Yeah, loads of t-shirts. <laughs> Not all vintage, I'm sure. Oh. Yeah, all stars. Oh. Like original Mac ears. There's really, really so much stuff. American cowboy boots. Yeah, sure, we've got you covered. Have some cowboy hats as well. Well, hang in there, partner. <laughs> Boy, am I tired from a hard day's work. Oh, you could spend you could spend a whole day here and genuinely get yourself some beautiful pieces so you can look just as trendy what as your cowboy outfit? the Bangkokians. What do you call people from Bangkok? <laughs> wow, that is such a soy cool cowboy. That, that's what they meant by soy cowboy. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> cool story. <laughs> People yeah. quibbling about their change. It's uh, another thing you have to watch out for. Yeah, it's a thing you got to worry about, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see they have cameras. So. Uh huh, yeah, so they can check. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, this is a great place to come shopping. Seriously cool stuff. Okay, now we arrive at the industrial zone. Wow. What is all this stuff? It's like more informal. And kind of more funky. Yeah, wow. I'm, I'm just... Stunned. The jeans Ricky saw just one pair downstairs. They've got hundreds of them up here. Oh, look at these. At least they don't have holes in them like I'm seeing on the streets at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, loads of pairs of shorts here. And shirts and caps and... Yeah, I must say, okay, there's the pricing there. It's all very clear. But what's pretty awesome about this is they've got them per size as well. So you just look up there and you go, okay, that's the 2XL, 3XL, up to a 5XL. That's pretty cool. Here's the blingy area. But Ricky actually is shopping. This is not just a fun <laughs> trip out. We're actually looking desperately for it some is a stuff. It's difficult because, you know, you've got the size barrier and then also, like, 
Where do you find what? Yeah. <laughs> it's cool that it's unique one-off pieces. Going up another floor, we have no idea how many floors we've gone up. It could be 10, it could be 250. It's been a lot of walking. <laughs> I think this is the fifth floor. That's his food court. That says an un six, so probably till <laughs> six o'clock. Okay, this place is very clothes heavy. So you got clothes and backpacks and things up here. And boots. Wow. Loads of boots. Uh-huh. Doc Martens. Nice. The genuine thing. Says five. Wow. You gonna try them on? I'm pretty sure Ricky will agree. As teenagers, we had to shop this place flat. So much stuff we'd have got to go out and yeah, it's a, it's a difficulty of traveling with one bag. <laughs> you can't buy all these sorts of things. You just don't yeah. have space for it. It's fun to look though. Oh, no, sure. And occasionally you'll chew something and throw something else away. You have to replace. Anyway, let's keep on going up and up and up. Because it seems like there are two more floors. <laughs> Floor six. Oh, look at this. It's like grass lantern area. And you can finally see how big this whole place is because all of that was filled with shops before like this and this is the food court wow one more floor above but i don't oh it's closed so this is it this is as high as you go a lot of hungry shoppers getting refueled oh, oh there's some nice looking drinks over there taco and pasta wow this is curry and rice I, I, curry and rice it actually says that they got some fruit smoothies here. Smoothieville, all these antique smoothies. They look fantastic. I want to get a strawberry yogurt. Okay, wow. Well, they have a yogurt yeah. version. Yeah, and then look at all of these. Pipo bear milk. They actually have bear milk. <laughs> and then these? Oh, these are coffees and chocolates. Oh, you get like a latte. He's actually grinding beans for the coffee. It's like a real coffee machine. Man, if you're feeling like coffee, come here. The smell just makes you hungry. Oh, I wasn't expecting real coffee. Oh. Oh. Here we go with the coffee. Real coffee, guys. Oh, oh man, that looks yeah. awesome. Thank you so much. Oh. They made these things heavy as well, like proper antique tables. Loving this place. You gotta somehow stir it because I wasn't allowed to take a straw. <laughs> and the coffee on top is so strong. <laughs> wow, that's real coffee. Oh. Strawberry yogurt, huh? Mm. Mm. Yeah, yogurt. So it's quite sour and with the strawberry, it's really nice and then so cold. And the actual choices of food are pretty cool. That's some great looking sausages and things. Soups. All kept hot, of course. Yeah. Interested in this taco and pizza thing? <laughs> yeah. It actually is tacos and pizza. Yeah, have a look at these curries, right? You can come choose some here. They had some interesting looking ones. Pork green curry, you need some crab meat, and northern Thai pork curry. But, but, the cool thing is all of this. You get to chuck this onto your curries. That is cool. Oh, there's an antique section. Some really old tables. Yeah, now you know where people get their cool outfits from. They shop here. Anyway, apparently there's outside. So if you want to get a view of the biggest market in the world, head on out. Chat to Chuck Market, and it's not this little bit here I'm showing you. It goes all the way past that clock tower and past that building. It is huge. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh we went right through the ground. And we are here, baby pizza. Yeah, check it out. They got all these vans with food on them. Friendly kebab, some burgers, and the pizza guy I pointed out earlier. Some stuff that we don't know what it is. Oh, and it's like a food, oh, it's an Amazon cafe here, but 
some beautiful stuff. Yeah, they're actually food trucks. You can see the truckiness. Actually, this is pretty cool. Walking around outside. Uh, some of the vintage stuff that didn't make it inside. <laughs> but I'm talking about the actual walkway with the plants and everything. Just across from the red building is this chandelier. <laughs> wow. Oh, proper lights. Know this table. Uh, Ricky knows this table. It's the one she lost in Peter Maritzburg. <laughs> no, I think we genuinely had one of these. Oh, crowns. Or if you want yourself a crown. Tie hair pieces for your covered game. I mean, some of the stuff here is just industrial. Look at this machine. Huh? Lighting, probably. Oh, look at this. If you want to open your own dentist, your antique dentist, where you know you probably pull teeth without anesthetic. Yeah. Mangle. <laughs> Wheelbarrows. Wow. Oh, we'll go in there in a minute, guys. I've just been drawn to something here. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> oh man, it's a shark. It actually is a shark. And he's got a friend with him. The world's biggest bass. Ricky's gonna give it a kiss. I think you kiss your fish when you catch it. <laughs> Look how big it is. Tennis rackets. Wow, it's so amazing. Yeah, there is loads of stuff. And each one of these stalls is full of things. They look air conditioned inside. But on the outside, you're walking in the nice. Uh, what are we on? Heat warning 5 or something. <laughs> 42 degrees guys. So it's not too bad. Some Ducks. Is so familiar, though. It is. You've seen this stuff before. Look at this chair. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. No, we definitely had those chairs. I know it. I know we did somewhere. All the way in Africa. Yeah. I mean, some of the things you've never seen in your life, but some are just like, oh, yeah, no, we had that. Yeah, yeah. Everything you recognize here is mass produced, don't bother buying it. Because <laughs> if you have it from where you're coming and it's here, wow, but there's certain things that you've never seen in your life. Absolutely never seen. And it's so interesting to look at. Oh, look at these terrariums. It's like a sealed landscape in a pot. Oh, absolutely love these things. I can easily spend a, a whole day looking through a place like this stopping for some food it's a great day out but you are still in bangkok the vintage <laughs> it actually says vintage but it is so cool there's so much stuff to see there well you guys saw it all it is epic definitely a must visit must must visit 